the common modalities of governance. My name is Silke Helfrich. I'm working with the International Commons Strategies Group and I'm a political activist working on the Commons for about five years now. I guess that once you get that idea, that idea of the commons touching the hearts of people, it'll develop like a virus. It's a kind of magic issue that suddenly people discover that they had a lot in common that would, they would never have come to Berlin, they would never have moved from one end of the world to the other, to sit down and talk with people, let's say somebody from the water movement, sit down and talk with somebody from the free hardware movement. But once they realize that in the commons there is something really intimate, a, a really intimate concern we all share, and you get that idea planted like a, like a seed, in the minds of the people, basically, then the conversation, the, the ability and facility to build relationships is really only a matter of time. It, it's really, you start to talk about how to take our lives into our own hands, how to get more autonomous, how to get more independent, how to create a quality of life where really our social bounds are the more important thing and that's what we all share. Not the main issues of the comments because what we didn't do in this conference was starting from the very beginning. Normally you have that kind of talk of, okay, what is a collective, a common pool resource? A, a, a resource we all share, we all have to share when we want to use it like land and water and software and code and genetic code and so on and so forth. We didn't start a conversation in the conference from that very basic things because we wanted to start contributing to a, the construction of a commons-based policy platform. That means we were discussing the very core ideas of the commons paradigm as a political paradigm as challenging um, as challenging um, method or process to reframe the relationship between society, state and market. And if you want to do that, you need to work with people already trained, let's say, on the uh, very basic um, distinctions between the comments we can share more easily because it's easy to copy them like our ideas or the knowledge stored in our libraries and the commons where sharing needs limits like water and land. So we did skip all those basic questions and went directly into so to say the big questions how to reshape the relation, relation between market, state and society, how to construct practices of commoning from, from where we are in the conditions we have to live with, within the current market-based economic and political structures and this kind of thing. So um, the core issues when it comes to um, single out the underlying core beliefs of the commons as a political paradigm were tackled, but not all the core issues we have to deal with when we start understanding what the commons are, is all about. I see it, um, I guess it was Paul Hawken who once uh, said that there is a huge movement out there, there are millions of people 
putting their effort in changing the world. And for me, there are millions of millions of people putting their effort to changing, to reshape the world. But it's like a movement, uh, like a little child about to discover its own identity, about to say, I. Uh, I think we cannot talk about a commons movement. We, we cannot yet talk about a commons movement. It's not yet there. The idea is there. There is a kind of, um, how to say this, a seed out there. But it, the plant has to grow yet, or the little child has to grow yet and discover its own identity. And if all those people reinventing the commons, reconstructing the commons, creating new commons out there, name themselves a commoner, then we can talk about the commons movement, at it. but it may take us five more years. Um, how many? Five more years. Five. I would say five more years because, I mean, I've... I find, you, I find you very optimistic. I am because I've been working on the Commons for the last five years and I saw an international conference where the terms Commons, Commoning and the self-determination of being a commoner were used in such a natural way that it was really amazing. And it's... Mm, a few years ago that the idea of commoning searched was singled out more clearly you know, in the political literature, so I am an optimist. For me, the commons is building social relationship in such a way that all those things we need to reproduce our livelihoods will be shared in a fair way and managed in a sustainable way.